Okay, you hold that side. Ben Warmington knows to appreciate moments like these. Getting ready for his daughter's birthday party, being a dad. Because you're four now, right? A bond only parents can truly appreciate. Much like the brotherhood, only known by those who've served. As a U.S. Marine, Warmington served eight years, three deployments to Iraq. It's been 10 years since his final tour, one that started the mission he's on today. To me, it feels like we left a Marine behind. During his final deployment, Warmington served alongside a young Iraqi man who joined coalition forces as an interpreter. We needed people who could bridge the gap between the military and the country and the people within the country. And that's what Ted's role was. Ted served with four Marine units, risking his life, Warmington says, even saving the lives of U.S. Marines and soldiers. Unquestionable loyalty to other Marines and being there for them. Which is why Warmington is on his new mission. And I just said, hey, how's it going? What's, you know, what's your status? And he's like, not good. And why Ted's face has to be blurred. Probably I'm gonna get killed. It's that serious. It's pretty serious. Anti-American militias in Iraq are gaining strength in targeting people who've helped U.S. forces, people the U.S. government promised to bring to America. Did you ever anticipate that it would take this long? No, absolutely not. Ted's been waiting 10 years. Now married with kids, he lives in hiding. Seriously, I don't care my, my, myself. I just care about my family. Yeah, there's me and Fred right there. Retired FBI agent David Lemoyne knows the fear and frustration Warmington and Ted are facing. Back in 2008, he worked for the U.S. military in Afghanistan, spending months with troops. And this Afghan interpreter, he calls Fred. He'd been out on over 500 missions and been involved in almost 100 attacks of one kind or another. And despite that, Fred still waited eight years for a visa, eventually making it here to Omaha this past July. Still, according to the International Refugee Assistance Program, 9,000 other Afghans are still waiting, and nearly 100 Iraqis, including Ted. I just want to be live a better life and a better future to my family. To, to live the American dream. One he what still is believes is possible, thanks to a friend he found in this U.S. Marine. Oh, thank you, my brother. Really appreciate it. He is worthy of our respect, and he is worthy of our sacrifice, as he sacrificed so much for us. James Wilcox, KETV, Newswatch 7.